What's up guys? I'm Caleb and today I'm going to be showing you a Photoshop tutorial of how to cut yourself out of a picture and put it on a new picture. In this case, I am cutting myself out of one picture and I'm pasting it to the background of this picture. Um, pretty much this is the first picture that I have and this is the original picture that I have of the uh, myself. So what we want to do guys is Photoshop. This is Photoshop CS5. I'm running. File open. You want to open up your new picture or any picture that you have that you want to cut out. In this case, I'm going to open up myself. Um, you're going to click the unlock button up here and you're going to drag down and create a new layer. To do that, just hold down your copy or your layer and drag it down right here. And right here is where this new layer is. So. Let me just delete those. Sorry, there we go. So we're going to go to the second layer, our original layer, and hide that one by clicking this little eyeball. Hide it, unhide it, hide it, unhide it. Now we want to make sure our top layer is selected. And we're going to crop out our picture. Now, if you have most, most of the times you'll have a bunch of stuff in the background. In this case, it's just a white background because this was a professional photo and I was on top of some kind of a white cloth. And pretty much, yeah, it was. I don't know. It was a good quality photo. Just let's just say that. If you have a really nice camera, like a um a Sony camera or anything really good or a nice little uh, hand camera, just uh, take a picture with that. HD, st SD, high definition or standard definition doesn't matter. Now there's a variety of way to crop yourself out of Photoshop, but I'm gonna show you pretty much the fastest and the easiest way to do this. We wanna come down to this little brush here, which is quick selection tool and we can hold it down and you might have the magic wand tool if so just come back up here and select the quick selection tool or click the hotkey W I'm gonna start at the top of my head hold down my mouse button and I'm just gonna drag it all the way down across my body across my board my pants my arm and the rest of my body there we go so now it's made this nice little selection of ourselves I'm gonna go to the refine edge right up here at the top and this is going to come up with a box. It's right here again if uh, I went too fast for you. It's right up here. Now, what we're going to do, we can go to our view mode right here. And this will show us different kinds of stuff. This is going to show us our selection. Overlay, on black, on layers. And I like it best on layers. It's the best to see. And we just click outside of this little box. Don't click OK because it will make this go away and you have to re-click it. What you want to do, say if you have like, a lot of hair, you just come up here and click Smart Radius. Zoom in a little bit, uh, a little bit more so you get that. Click this little hand so you can see it. I'll drag it down. Click this little brush. Make sure your brush size, see how it's up here at the top? It's 35. That's too big. Um, I'm going to bring it down to about uh, 9. Now what you want to do is just come in here. Now watch really close because this is going to be really, really dark. Now it's going to go light. You see how it changed? went light. It's going lighter. It's just cutting out like the uh, extra stuff that really doesn't need to be there. Just cutting out some stuff back here. And you could smooth up your image a little bit if you have like a choppy outside. But in this case, I don't have a choppy outside. But if you want, you can just put that up a little bit. You could feather it. And the thing about feathering, it kind of fades you away. So I wouldn't really feather my image all that much because like all the way up, I'm pretty much faded out through the uh, whole entire like thing. And when you feather things, Say you feather a picture, if you feather it a little bit, sometimes you'll feather too much and the um, edge of your photo will uh, be seen through from the uh, bottom layer. And that's kind of bad, so I'm just going to leave this the same. It's really good just to play around with these settings right here in this uh, Just Edge panel and see really see what works best for you. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to have this nice little outline of myself. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now you're going to come down here to the bottom where this little square and circle is and you're going to create a layer mask. Alright, that was pretty much the world's easiest, fastest way to crop yourself out of a photo. I did it very slowly so you could understand, but the more you do this, the faster it'll get. And trust me, there's like tons of different ways to do this. If you wanted to, you can click your image. Make sure you're not on the layer mask. Make sure you click this little square where your image is. It has a little border around it. And you want to come up to Image, Adjustments, and come to Curves. And what this will do, this will just um, fine-tune your f 
photo a little bit and you make a dot like say right here and you can make another dot like right here and you can drag this down a little bit and this will make your darkers darker drag this up a little bit and make your lighters lighter if you see if I drag it way up here you see how it's getting super white or light and drag it way down here it's getting really dark and you can just adjust that a little bit and it really f um, brings more color richer colors I would say and darker darks and you can play around with like if you how when you want it to start and whatnot but I'm just gonna click cancel you can find a good setting for yourself all right so now you have your photo cropped out now you want to open up your background your background can be anything you want in this case I went to Google and I picked up some abstract art of a rainbow with like a mushroom thing I don't really it's like a waterfall rainbow with a mushroom and you want to click this little layer here and normally whenever you open up a thing in Photoshop I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but uh, make sure to click this little unlock button here and it's gonna ask for a new layer name you can call it a new layer if you want I'm just gonna click OK it's gonna be layer 0 now you want to bring your photo that you cropped out just hold it I'll show you this again you can just hold click the little uh, select tool Make sure you're clicked on your layer, because if you're not, it's not going to work. But make sure you uh, click on the picture of yourself. And you're just going to drag it into this tab, and it's going to have this little box with a plus sign. And you can just add it back. But whatever. So now your guy's going to be a little bit too big. In my case, he is. If he's in your case, if he's a little too small, you might want to shrink your background image. And make sure, and to do that, you just want to uh, click the layer. And up here, where it says Show Transformation controls you just want to make sure that box is checked because if that box ain't checked this guy ain't going nowhere you're not going to be able to shrink them so I'm going to click that real quick um, hold down the shift key to make like a perfect square shrink them down uh, right about there let go of shift pull them up he's still a little bit too big hold down shift again drag them a little bit smaller uh, that looks about right zoom in a little bit Let's go and about right here so you can see now see if you can see I had like a rough edge around me so it would have been better if I would have fine-tuned oh no it actually I'm gonna click apply up oh, there we go I'm just kidding you just had to apply it all right so pretty much now you've successfully cropped out an image from a different image and put it onto a new image and made a really cool piece of artwork. Congratulations guys, you just pretty much done what I just said. Um, please feel free to like the video, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you want. If you've got any questions, leave comments below, PM me, whatever. I hope this tutorial really helped you out guys. Um, message me if you have any problems. Alright guys, until next time, see ya.